everyone. It's Lauren. Okay. I am just sitting here and chatting and it's so amazing to me. I'm talking today about these energetic exercises and you're going to receive an email from me shortly. And we got to trust our own information because sometimes we think, gosh, that's crazy. That's not where they are. They're telling me they're doing great. Right. And so this will make more sense after you read this email, but it was so interesting how the validation I just got from this email that comes in. It's not that we're always right. Like from this narcissistic, like, oh my God, we're so amazing. We're always right. It's really our knowing that comes in when we allow ourselves to see energetically underneath the deeper. We're all human. We all have these and we all match on these, right? So it's not they're better than the other. It's just what we're all going through. Now, when we merge with other people's energies, something's going on for us too. We're never just a victim to it. It doesn't just happen to us, right? There's a reason that we tend to let that in. However, there's also, we want to be aware, like if we're taking responsibility for somebody why? What about it's actually serving you? Because you are choosing to do so. And then is that a choice you want to continue to make? Or would it benefit you to kind of let that go? So, and we can always let it go, right? So when this just came in, and then it, originally it was how she's feeling. And I was feeling like, I don't think that matches how I'm, the energy that I'm feeling about how you're feeling doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong, right? But at the same time, I'm going to validate my personal experience of the kind of whirlwind that I'm sensing, and then, you know, a few hours later, it comes in with the, all of the mental, all of the thinking, all of the stuff that's up, all of the fears that are up, all the anxieties start to show up. And then the body challenges, we fall or we get tinnitus or we get vertigo or we get headache or we get a migraine or we get this, or we, you know, hurt our knee or we hurt our foot or whatever it is. I have now tracked back for myself and with clients that every single time, no matter how small or how large, there's always something going on deeper. We don't just have an accident or because, oh, there was snow on the ground. Well, you don't fall every time there's snow on the ground, right? There's always something deeper that's happening if we choose to take that level of accountability, responsibility for it. But what I've come to find is that the more we're willing to take that accountability and responsibility, the easier it feels for us, the more we're in our flow, the more we get to offer ourselves a healing and them a healing without that need, without that attachment. Because the truth is sometimes we don't want to heal. We don't want to be in a place either. We need a minute to like, just check out. We all check out at times, right? But we also want to tune back in and we want to tune back in consciously. We want to ground more consciously, even more often. So I'm going to walk you through this quick exercise that I do, a quick version of it. This goes along. I walk you through some of the steps in written form today in the email as well, or on the blog. Um, so I invite you to visit that. This is helpful for the holidays, but not just for the holidays, right? This is helpful at any time. So just go ahead and close your eyes. Take a few nice, long and deep breaths. Focusing on your inhale. Expanding your belly. Hold your breath at the top. Slowly and softly exhale. Softening somewhere, your jaw, your face, your neck. Let it go. We have all these different parts of our beings, whether that's parts of our mental being, emotional being, personality, right? All our different layers. We also have an auric being, this space that exists 12 to 18 inches around our body, all around our body. Now tune into that space, starting above your crown, all the way up. And just notice, does anyone come to mind? Do you sense anyone, see anyone? Just let that be. We're just gaining awareness. And then start to tune in in front of you, all the way down your body in front of you, out to what you sense is the edge of your aura. If someone were standing 100 feet away, you probably wouldn't, you might notice or see them, but you wouldn't let it affect you. So the way we can gauge where that aura starts is if someone started walking closer, where would you start to feel their energy out in front of you? And that's the, where your aura is now. And we can bring these in and expand them. But for now, just notice what's there now. And then take that all the way around. And does it come in anywhere? Is it equal on all sides, above and below? 
I usually have to expand mine more and behind me and choose what's in these spaces. We get to bring our light to these spaces, but when there's other people there, we don't do that. So we wanna just build awareness. When we hold all these expectations or perfect pictures or people there, it's harder. What do you notice? Who's there, check in behind you, below you. And now if one person came to mind or many people, we're gonna start to just move them out in front of you. Imagine them energetically just moving out in front of you. And right at that edge of your aura, you're gonna imagine you're floating all the way up to the sun. And I like to bring down and draw down this thick, clear piece of plexiglass that nobody can get through. And you extend it down at the edge of your aura infinitely down to the center of the earth, extending it out to the sides. You can curve it around the sides if you need to, curve it below you. And you may see one person or many try to get in. They come in on your grounding cord. They come in in your first chakra, different areas. I'm not going to go through all the details in this moment. For now, do the best you can with what you notice. And then see them all on the other side of the glass. Put them all on the other side. And then what shows up in your space when they do that? Once you've separated from them, scan your body. Physically, emotionally, mentally, what do you notice in each of these different aspects? Does it feel empty? Is it a little scary? Does any tension come up? Any fears? Just be with them. Again, we're just building awareness. And now from your heart, what would you love? What would you love to create for either this day, this experience, this holiday, whatever it is that's coming up? How would you love it to be? And allow that in from your crown all the way down to ground it down through your physical body. And if it gets stuck anywhere, interesting, good to notice. And then again, see. Is there information there? Is there a picture there? Is there a person still there? Is there a court of responsibility? What is showing up? And work on that until you can ground it and allow it down all the way fully down. And then see the people on the other side, whether you can try to connect with them all together or one at a time. And notice from each person, what do they want? What's their outcome? What's a desire they might have? And just trust your information. What's a fear they have behind that? that's why we take responsibility for someone or want someone unconsciously to take responsibility to help us because we're not believing in ourselves. We're not connected to ourselves. We're not trusting ourselves. So just not judging that. We all have that same fear, but just be aware of it. Interesting. That's what they're going through. That's their experience. That's okay. And then you separate them. You can go to yourself too. Am I having that experience too right now? We still, we have it in general, but is that what my experience is in this moment? And assume it is if you're if you're struggling. Okay. And then offer them next to them an image of them in their highest light, their highest potential, them as their greatest self. And just see if they choose that, if they're wanting that right now. And then you can also share from your heart and intention of how you would love to connect with them throughout this holiday. What would be really great for you? And just see if they're a match to that. And if they walk in their light. 
and then just see them walk away, turn their back, walk off in the horizon, and they just get to have their space. And each time you do that with each person, you energetically should feel and will feel more space in your space. If you don't, then do it again and keep going through that. Whether they take their light or not, them you separating from them and them walking away is you creating more space in your space. There's so much we can do around this, but allow just even one part of it to be enough. And then you lovingly can set your boundaries too. If someone comes in or you feel them tugging on somewhere in your body, just trust that. It's not conscious. They're not bad. We're not judging them. We're not making ourselves better. Just let it be interesting. We've done that too. Okay. The more we give ourselves grace and permission when we've done it and the less we have a desire because we want to spend more time and attention with ourselves to be noticing these things so we're not just doing it unconsciously all over the place the more we offer someone else permission it's okay if you want to look at this great here's some tools if you don't that's okay but i'm going to stay neutral and in my heart so i'm going to stay separate enough so that i don't take on and carry all that stuff and now also i'm dismissing my own stuff i'm not able to be in my space because I'm taking responsibility. So now my focus is outside of myself. With what's within our control, we always get to control. You always get to choose no matter what's happening. We don't have to suffer. We don't have to get spun out energetically and emotionally or even physically where we then create being ungrounded in a physical challenge. We are at choice. You are at choice. So really just let that in. And take all the time you need. You can pause this or go back through it with all the different people. And then finally, connecting above you, above your crown to your highest light. And allow in a golden, warm energy from the sun nourishing you. To flow in like a waterfall, opening up your crown, receiving your golden light. Connecting you to your own highest information, your source, your truth. And allow that in. And allow that to enter into every cell of your being, filling up your body, expanding it into your aura, taking as much gold as you'd like. Grounding that all the way down and out your grounding cord. And imagine your feet opening up. The soles of your feet, your feet chakra is allowing in earth energy to help you walk your path with even more ease. Receive that energy from the earth. And allow that to flow up. Moving up your body all the way to your heart. Again, coming back to your intention, maybe a new one, maybe the same one. What would you love right now? Whether it's with that person or just in general with yourself. Take a nice deep breath. Hold the breath for a moment. And softly and slowly exhale. It feels appropriate for you. You've moved a lot of energy. You can also bend forward, balance, touch the ground. Hope you enjoy that meditation. And I will talk to you soon.